Today's faith moment is going to be centering around the following objects. I was thinking about faith the other day, and I was thinking about us and what we are and how we believe about things. And, you know, there's a lot of issues of faith that wrap around us. And we also worry about, you know, in faith, what we're going to do, where we're going to be, who are we, and so forth. Well, it struck me yesterday afternoon when I was thinking about faith moments that there's an illustration I can do, and as you can see, I'm holding part of it here in my hand, that might help crystallize your faith about your callings, your future, your whatever, with a little bit of a visual. So, what I have here, of course, in my hands, you may recognize. I'll just set one of them down for a minute. This is a container. Now, every vessel or container has a purpose, right? So when you see this container, you would say to yourself, the purpose for this thing is to hold something in particular. And you would think of what that something in particular might happen to be. Now, you might be right or you might be wrong, depending on what the container truly does hold, of course. Because, you see, there are many kinds of containers Every container has its purpose, a something that it was designed for. Every container shows something. Now, we're always worried about what am I going to be, what am I going to do, what am I going to do, How, what do I believe for, what do I have faith for? And it struck me that perhaps it isn't that difficult after all. Perhaps we just simply need to ask the question, what manner of container am I? And then begin to believe for what should be filled in that container. Mm -hmm. This is an empty container. It's not meant to hold forks or spoons. It's meant to hold a very specific something. This is a different kind of container. Also holds something, sometimes very valuable. If you lose it, erase it wipe it, you're very sad, <laughs> because what was on here, as small as it might have been, i.e. microscopically so, was very valuable. What was in here is long gone, it was used for its purpose for which it was used, and it is done. So this container, as it were, could be used for something else, or just set aside, and whatever the soul was that was supposed to be might turn into a different kind of container. Because the container is as important to your faith as the thing that's in the container. Now, I need these. They're important to me. And I protect them in a container. When God decided to seal up the jewels in earthen vessels, he in essence said to himself, I have to protect my investment in the containers. So I'm putting the jewels inside you. But you don't always know what I'm building inside you. But you might get a clue by looking at the container. The container is something you can have faith in. When you start to understand how God put you together and how you're gifted and how you're structured, you might get more and more of an inkling of what to believe for of who you are. Now, I will say that containers can be a little bit deceiving <coughs> because sometimes they don't contain exactly what you're expecting them to. <laughs> The Lord has a funny way of sticking things in containers, much like myself, who modeled himself after God, that containers can serve whatever purpose I deem them to serve. So don't necessarily have your faith distracted by looking at the container. You might be surprised that what God's put in there that you're supposed to have faith in is a whole different matter. <laughs> Sometimes your faith is exactly matched to what's in the container exactly to what God said. But sometimes you're going to look at your container and you're going to go, I don't know what I am. And you won't know what you are until the day is that he opens it up and shows you inside what he put inside. So your faith can be founded on three things. Your faith can be founded on knowing how God's made you and watch him use you for the purpose in which you were created. Your faith can be in it doesn't matter what I look like on the outward, because God is building inside of me a really strong work, and I can have faith that something's going in this container, because it is a container. It's a vessel. Okay? And number three, 
we can also say that some of the things in there might be so valuable that we can't afford to have them erased. <laughs> and God will protect his investment. So the fact that he has made you a vessel, the fact that you're getting fashioned and changed and your vessel changes sometimes and doesn't change what he's doing on the inside. He just might be rearranging the vessel a little bit to have more capacity to put in there. He might be making a little bit of change in how he designed the vessel on the inside so you can hold more. He might just expand your vessel so that you can hold more. But you have to believe that if he's working you as a vessel, he must also then be working <coughs> himself in you and everything he's trying to produce. So when you stand in front of the mirror and you don't like the vessel you see, ask him about what's inside. If you do look in the spiritual mirror and see what vessel you are, ask him what's on the inside. Mm. But let your faith stay strong that no matter what, you are a vessel and a treasure is being built in you. And so your faith can be grounded in that even when the rest of life around you seems to change. Mm. Focus on what he's doing with the vessel. Mm. 